Hey, this is your coach, Chris. Um, thank you for taking a couple minutes to watch this little quick video I made for you. Um, to, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about making, making a change. You know, you took the challenge to lose some weight or gain some agility to um, get healthier. And, or you took the challenge to change your life for the better in a certain way, make more money, uh, pay off a car, pay off credit cards, pay off your home um, as a coach. And I've been focusing a lot lately on <clears throat> steps that you need to do to, uh, to make that change. Personally, for myself, there's a lot of steps that I'm taking right now to make a change. I made a huge change um, this month when I left my corporate job, getting paid well, over 100K a year, to full-time Beachbody coach. Huge step especially when I wasn't making but just over close to half as a beach body coach maybe even a quarter or a third it's a huge step but to achieve success to achieve your goals to achieve what I need to do and this can relate to anything in your life You've got to take simple little steps every single day that don't seem, um, they're insurmountable. They don't, you can't measure them, but they're, they're the little steps to help you reach that goal. For example, I know that I'm, if I'm going to get, if I'm going to feel better about myself, I'm going to feel healthier, I'm going to feel fit, I always have this little pudge around, these love handles around my waist. Always had them. But to get rid of that, this little section right here <clears throat> on my body, I've got to take the little steps every single day that don't seem like they're working, that don't seem like they're going to get me to my goal, but they do. So each day I press play, I work out each day. Each meal I make a conscious decision to eat healthy food, not fast food or boxed food or processed food or anything like that. I make those little steps every day. When I started this whole journey two years ago, just over two years ago, that was my biggest, biggest problem was I ate the junk food. I ate that fast food. I made the decision every single day at the split moment to eat something that was bad for me. So those little steps that I took in the very beginning helped me lose almost close to 50 pounds. And for the past year and a half since I've lost all that weight, I've kept it off by making those decisions every meal. Now, do I go out and have a bad meal every once in a while? Sure. I have that emotional meal. I love chicken wings. So four to six weeks I go out and have a buttload of chicken wings. I feel like crap the next day, so I work it off. I do a Shakeology cleanse for three days, but then I get right back on track that next day. I don't let that one mistake stop me because I have a goal to reach. There's no time limit on it, but I have that goal, so I'm making the steps every single day to reach those goals. So relate that to something, that a goal that you want to make and break it apart into little steps that you need to do. If you have to wake up 15 minutes early every day, or excuse me, 30 minutes every day to get a workout in, then you're gonna have to wake up 30 minutes every day. But make the conscious decision to do that every single day and you'll reach your goal. So, thanks a lot guys, appreciate it. I am about ready to press play on Dynamics on P90X3. Actually, this is my fourth week and it's sort of the relaxed week, the stretch week. Um, I finished 
the I'm doing the classic version of P90X3 and one through weeks one through three. Um, a lot of training my body to perform the moves um, that are needed to move on to other block to the second block. There's P90X3 is broken apart in three blocks. So the first block is foundations and all that, and then we're working up to now I'm working on the transition, which is going to get me into week two, or excuse me, block two. That's more of uh, more eccentric upper body weights, a lot more yoga, of course. And uh, so that's going to work me into more of a uh, lean. I've been bulking up on um, creatine and base, excuse me, base powder to build up some muscle. And then I'm going to start trimming it down. So I know in, in after this week, starting next week, that I'm going to have to make sure my diet is right on plan, right on mark every single day. Make the little changes, make sure my proteins are enough, uh, have enough proteins, make sure I have enough carbs, make sure my fats are good. Drink plenty of water. I'm going to have to do those little steps. It's going to be a change from what I'm doing right now, but I'm going to have to make those little steps. So I'll make the conscious decision to make those steps. And that's what you got to do when you're trying to change what you're, what you're, you're trying to make a change and trying to reach a goal, making the little teeny steps that are going to make, help you reach that goal. So thanks for listening guys. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon.